Are you overwhelmed by your patient's long list of drugs? Are you frustrated by guidelines that only add more pills? Help! Do you ever feel guilty renewing prescriptions when you're not 100% sure they're necessary? That was me too, until I discovered deprescribing. I mean, I've known about deprescribing, other doctors talk about it all the time, but how many of us are actually doing it? How often do we deprescribe meds that other doctors started? Not often, and the truth is, for the longest time, neither did I. I used to think deprescribing would be hard, but it's not. In fact, I kind of like to think of myself as a deprescribing superhero. All I had to do was overcome five myths that used to get in my way. The first myth was that my current prescriptions were just fine. My patients hadn't had any problems yet, so if it ain't broke, why fix it, right? I asked myself, if I saw a glass perched too close to the edge of the table, would I move it to safety? or just leave it there and wait for the inevitable to happen. The truth is, when we prescribe or deprescribe, we can't be certain if there will be benefits, side effects, or more serious harms. No one can be certain that meds like benzodiazepines or opioids won't lead to a fall or even death. Was I just going to sit there and wait and see? Alt. Well, no. It's better to prevent a broken hip than to fix one, right? So the status quo wasn't the answer. Enter myth two. If I deprescribe, won't my patient's symptoms return? That one has an element of truth. That is, if I assume the medication I'm deprescribing is actually providing benefit. That's why I often substitute with a safer evidence-based drug or non-drug alternative. Speaking of safety, myth three told me there was no evidence that deprescribing can be done safely. False. There's evidence from many randomized trials showing just that. We actually have evidence-based deprescribing algorithms for a range of medication classes. And deprescribing certainly makes a lot more sense than continuing a medication without evidence-based benefit when safer alternatives exist. The fourth myth I had to get over was that my patients would be reluctant to stop their meds. Well, that proved false too. I guess I'd never really asked them. It turns out that 70% of seniors are willing to stop their medications if only their doctors ask them. Once I understood that, I had every reason to deprescribe. The only myth left was that I didn't have enough time for deprescribing. Well, randomized trials have shown that deprescribing can be done simply. A single visit providing an individualized written tapering protocol is just as effective as more time-intensive interventions. So as you can see, there's no need to fear. The myths don't hold up to scrutiny. Being an effective deprescriber will make you an even better healthcare provider. Need help? Check out our videos with steps to help you deprescribe sedative hypnotics, PPIs, and opioids.